Game Ranks presents another episode of Before You Buy, the show where we bring you a little bit of raw, uncut footage from games that are just coming out, along with a little insight that may help you make your purchasing decision. Today on the show, we are doing Firewatch. I'm going to do everything I can to keep this as spoiler-free as possible, so keep that in mind. This game is absolutely an interactive story. That being said, this is going to conjure a lot of different things to your mind as you play it, and the first thing that I thought of, believe it or not, when I played it was Bioshock. The atmosphere that was being generated, the interactions, they just felt very Bioshock to me. And that's not a bad thing. Bioshock is one of my favorite games ever made. However, the story itself is not the same kind of story by any means. It's a much more introspective story that they lay some very specific groundwork for you at the very beginning of the game by making you go through a few text prompts so you can establish the backstory. Something I thought that was very clever when they did this was they told you how the character was feeling as you were making choices. And several of the choices I even felt like I was choosing between, okay, I'm kind of an asshole and okay I'm really an asshole. Even though they're not really choices that determine a whole hell of a lot, it has to do with buying a big dog or a small dog, how you react to a stick up, things like that. And the way they handled it, I don't know why, for some reason got me into the game immediately. I was so absorbed by how well written that small chunk of the game was that when I finally got plunked into the world, it took almost nothing to get me going. The game's control scheme is actually pretty good. I played it on the PS4 and the triggers of the controller function as kind of the action and dialogue selection process. It's not super revolutionary or anything, but it was a little bit different than what I'm used to. To be completely honest, felt more natural once I got used to it. I would suggest that any dialogue-oriented story, narrative, no shooting, walking simulator, whatever you want to call them games, use a similar control scheme to this because it felt like an extension of me. I never really felt as though I was dealing with some sort of arbitrary control scheme. It it all clicked very quickly. And that's exactly what you want in something like this because when the story itself is the main focus of the game, anything that takes you out of the story, definitely a bad thing. Fortunately, Firewatch does a great job of keeping you there. And the story itself, like I said, I'm not putting any spoiler footage into this, but it's actually great. You spend some time getting to know your characters while events start taking shape and you gradually become more and more paranoid over things that may or may not actually be happening. Obviously, events build, and through most of the game, you're gripped. You're wanting to find out more, you're wanting to progress, and I think that this game probably has done the best job of being a very structured narrative that has a definitive start point, midpoint, and end point that you have to cross through that still feels like it's you doing it. The choices feel like your choices. The actions feel like your actions. You never feel as though this is linear, even though it is linear as hell. It's an immersive story that you feel like you're a part of and I really appreciate that because, because this kind of game, this narrative based, no combat walking simulator type game can suck. Firewatch does not. Oh and did I mention it's gorgeous? This game has got one of the most distinct art styles of all time. It was actually inspired by New Deal artwork from the FDR era which probably doesn't mean a lot to everybody but when you look at that art and then go oh yeah, that actually would make good video game art, and then find out that somebody has followed through on that, it more than works. There are a couple of issues with the game. I have to say this. The frame rate is not stable. There are parts of this game where it seemed like it was going by at 60 frames per second, and parts of this game where it seemed like it was less than 30, and it never really seemed like there was enough going on in the screen to warrant some kind of a drop in frame rate. And some people will blame the Unity engine, but frankly, we've all seen examples of the Unity engine working much better than this. At the same time, the graphics in this game are gorgeous, and I hope they're able to make a patch, because believe it or not, the unstable frame rate actually made me sick. Now, was that enough to make me stop playing it? No, and that should really say something to you. I was so intrigued by this game. I felt like I knew the characters, even though I really barely learned any specific backstory on either of them, other than the stuff at the beginning of the game or my character, Henry. I very quickly became acquainted with these two, and the story unfolded in a way that felt both strangely nostalgic as well as feeling like building a new friendship. Now, if you can't stand a game that doesn't have combat, obviously there's no way to convince you to like this game, and I'm not going to try to. But if you're open to a game that isn't necessarily the toughest thing in the world, doesn't necessarily put a ton of challenges in front of you, that really kind of just is a story that is designed to immerse you, that's the kind of game this is. I never really felt 
felt particularly challenged by this game, and that's not something that bothered me. And I'm not going to say I dislike a challenge. As I said, I love Bioshock, and this game immediately reminded me of Bioshock, but Bioshock also created an expectation for me and made me want a challenging battle. Firewatch does a great job of making the mystery the main thing you care about. I didn't get distracted in this game. I always wanted to get to the next part, and that's, I mean, that does it. That's, I mean, for this kind of game, that's exactly what you want. Campo Santo did a great job. I can't stress how impressed I was with this. There are a few minor plot things near the end that I wasn't super excited about, and I kind of felt that not everything was 100% wrapped up. I still had a couple of very, very minor questions, but overall it was a satisfying way to spend a few hours. And because of the character development in the game, I felt like I had developed a little bit, and that's really the goal of such an introspective project, I would think. I have to recommend that you at least try this game. It's 20 bucks. It's not a major investment. And if you're the type of person who can handle a game that doesn't have any combat in it, this is probably one of the best examples of that kind of game that there is. So I'm just going to say this to wrap things up. Good job, Campo Santo. I mean, thank you for this. Did anybody out there play Firewatch? We'd really like to know what you think as well. So please get down to the comments and let's discuss. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. Hopefully we helped you a little bit regarding a purchasing decision on this. If you're not subscribed to Game Ranks, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every single day of the week. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video and we will see you next time right here on Game Ranks.